Hello and welcome to the introduction to Quick Schools Quick Guide. In this video, we'll show you how to log in for the first time, the basics of the homepage, how to set up your profile, how to activate features, and how to manage the school settings page. So you've signed up for Quick Schools and you're ready to log in for the first time. Simply go to the URL you set for your school when you signed up. Now enter your username and the password you set from the sign up page. Now you're on your personal homepage. From here, you can see what other teachers and administrators are saying in the teacher's lounge. You can add to the conversation by typing in the text box and clicking post. On the top of the page is your personal to-do list. You can add to your to-do list by clicking the plus button on the top right, which will add a new item that you can type in. Hit enter and it's added to your to-do list. To organize your tasks, Simply click and hold down the four dots to the left of the item you'd like to move. Drag the to-do where you'd like it, then simply let go. To complete your to-do, just click the box to the left of the item and it'll be marked as completed. To clear completed tasks, simply click the clear completed text at the top of the list. Below the to-do list are your events. The events area is a simple and convenient way for you to add and keep track of past and upcoming events. Click on the plus icon to add an event. Type or select the date of the event and type out the event name. You can make this event entry viewable just for you, or you can also share the event information with teachers or teachers and parents. They'll see the events list appearing in their events box. If you do, when other teachers and parents log into their accounts, they'll see the events list appearing in their events box. Click Add to save your event. You can also filter the events box to see all events or events which are upcoming as well as past events by clicking on the filter link and selecting the desired option. Now you have an idea of the home page, let's set up your profile. Up in the top right of the screen is a link to your profile. You can also click on your user portrait to get to your profile. From your profile page, you can change your full name, your display name, phone number, and email. You cannot change your username that you chose when you signed up. If you'd like to change any of these, Simply type in the changes and click Save. You can also update your profile picture. You can click Upload Photo, then choose a picture, click Open, then wait for it to upload. You can also drag a picture into your profile and it will automatically upload. To change your password, just type in your old password, then your new password, confirm your new password, then click Change Password. Next, we'll change your school settings. Please note, you can only change your school settings if you are approved to do so by the admin that set up the Quick Schools account. From your school settings page, you can change your school name, school address, time zone, phone number, school email, website, and principal. Just like your profile page, remember to click save if you make any changes. You can also change your school's logo in the same way you changed your profile photo. To assign other people as school admins, Simply type their account name into the school admin box and select their name from the drop down list. You can also add a new role for teachers and admins by clicking Add Role. If you're one of the administrators of your Quick Schools account, you will also see the Features tab. This is where you manage the features and configuration settings for your school's account. You can easily change plans for your account by selecting the Gaia, Apollo, or Athena box. To turn on features for your account, click these checkboxes here. For each feature you've activated, you'll need to configure them. Click the Configure link next to the checkbox, and you'll see various options that will enable you to control who gets access and set limits to what users can do for that particular feature. Another configuration element to point out is the Overall Settings link, which is the gears icon here. This is where you can configure overall settings like US or UK default style, set default nationality for your account, give access to the users who can set up new semesters, and if this applies to your school, turn on college level settings. There are also several other options available in this screen which you are welcome to explore. Thanks for watching the introduction to Quick Schools Quick Guide. If you have any questions that this quick guide didn't answer, please feel free to contact us through the live chat in the lower right corner of the quickschools.com website, or you can send an email to us at support at quickschools.com.